All right, I'm going to show you how to do a timer in Minecraft. And this is going to be using functions rather than something like redstone. So I'll go ahead and log into my world. And inside this world, we have, well, nothing really. So I'll drop a command block here. And then I'm going to be later adding a function to that command block in order to create my timer. So for this timer, usually you need some kind of a variable to keep track of your well your timer and there are no real variables you can use in Minecraft so instead we use scoreboards so a scoreboard needs to have a an objective and then you tie that objective to a player so I'm going to do scoreboard scoreboard and I'm going to create an objective so my objective is my timer so I'll add a timer and I'll make it a dummy timer so there I have is new objective called timer and objectives can have scores associated with them or have values now I'm going to create a well there's going to be a fake player so you don't want to have a real player just have a, a player that you set up so score board and then players and I want to set the fake player's timer or objective timer to be zero. So my fake player, well, I'll call it fake player name. Let's do a name like that. So fake player name, timer, zero. So then we are setting the score to zero so that well we have a score all right now all you need to do is just add to that so we could set this um, block right here so that it adds to it and you could do this in just command blocks if you wanted to um, but I like doing it in functions instead so let's go ahead and create a function now so I'll switch out here and if you have not already set up your machine for functions you probably want to do that. I have a video that shows how to do that, but we'll create a function. And I do text document. And we'll call this our my timer dot MC function. Yep, so I will change it and then I'll open that with an editor. So I got notepad plus plus. You can use whatever text editor you want, notepad, anything works. And in this I know I have this fake player name and I know I have a timer and so every time this thing runs I want to go ahead and increment my timer so I'll do score board and I want to change the players score so add and then my fake player name I believe that's what I used um, timer one so it's going to add one to the flake the fake player names timer variable and so it just keeps adding up and then at some point i want to loop so if i want to have a timer that goes for let's say 30 seconds then when it hits 600 i want to loop back over to zero again so i do an execute do you execute if score so I'm looking at the scoreboard for the fake player name timer matches 600 or higher then I want to run my scoreboard players so I'm going to set the that fake player name timer zero so that top line or the first one line four up there will add one to do the timer and then this one if it reaches 600 it will loop it back over to zero again so I'm going to counting up to 
600. Now 600 is the number of ticks and there's 20 ticks per second which means this is 30 seconds. So I could just write a little note here. So let's see, reset timer after 30 seconds which is basically 20 times 30 equals 600 so I can keep track of what's going on here why the number 600 there all right so what do I want to do maybe when I'm running this in the middle of it so at the 15 second point I want to do something like spawn uh, a creature so that every 60 seconds on the 15 second mark it's going to create a zombie so I go back over here and I look and I figure out well where is this bar right here so I've got right now uh, the targeted block is 7882 of course I go to 89 because I'm at 89 so 7892 so I'll go back here and I'll say I just remember 7892 so I want to summon at 7892 a zombie and now when do I want to do that well I want to do that if these fake players timer matches 15 seconds which would be 300 so I do an execute if score fake player name timer matches 300 then I want to run this thing right here. So that looks pretty good. I've got a timer, it counts up, and if it reaches 300, it will summon a zombie. And then if it reaches 600, it will reset the timer back down to zero again. So I save this, and I make sure that my timer is in here. So I have to just reload the game. So reload, reload the functions. I can turn off the F3 thing. And I want to make sure my function is actually working. And it is not there. So that means that something happened with my function. So I want to make sure that each one of these lines can run on their own. So I will copy that and run it here. So that one looks good. Then I will check the other one. Oops. Make sure that one's good. Because if any one of my commands doesn't work, then that's what's happening. Execute if score fake player timer matches. Someone. That's the summon command that's wrong. Alright, so summon the zombie. And I got the numbers backwards. Alright, so I just need to swap that around. And then we'll see if that solves that. Swap that, put the zombie right here zombie and there we go save that go back here with the game oops put that back and reload and then we can see if the function is available and now we see that our timer function is available and now we can run it we want to put it in this command block right here we do function and we do the timer and then we gotta change this command block so that it is instead of being on pulse it's repeat and it's unconditional and always active and then we can see what happens and we have this this spamming going on and we don't really like the spamming all this executed stuff so we can actually run a command right here so game rule and we want to send 
Command feedback false. And then the commands will go away. So you can see that a zombie has appeared. It's gone now. And then we can wait for another 15 seconds or 30 seconds, I guess, from the time he spawned and see if it spawns another one. And that's how you get a timer working. And so it should spawn a zombie every 30 seconds. And there you go.